Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing well and keeping safe. This is Sarthak and this is my first uh, content piece on YouTube. So really nervous, but equally excited at the same time. Uh, before I talk about what I want to cover in today's video, uh, just a little bit of intro about myself. I did my bachelor's from Shahid Sukhdev College of Business Studies, which is a part of Delhi University. Before that, I uh, completed my schooling from Delhi Public School, Mathura Road. So I've been a Delhi boy all along. And uh, post college, uh, I worked with a startup called Car Deco, which is now a unicorn. Uh, apparently, the CEO and the founder, Mr. Amit Jain, is also coming on Shark Tank India season two. Uh, and uh, after working there for a couple of years, uh, I went to uh, complete my MBA from the Indian School of Business. ISP, uh, which is the uh, which is the topic of today's uh, today's video, and uh, right now I'm working on my own startup, which I started in the ISB campus, and the uh, name of the startup is Career Edge. We basically provide uh, mentorship and career guidance for college students and working professionals uh, through various programs like consulting, finance, product management, GMAT coaching, one to one B school mentorship, all of that. Uh, so that's about myself now coming on to uh, the theme of today's session uh, the theme is uh, on the ISB admissions process if the school is right for you if you are right for the school and also what are the various entry routes when can you apply when's the right time to apply and also what all components does the school need for you to get interviewed and eventually get an admit Right. So talking uh, firstly about uh, the school and if it's right for you. So ISB, Indian School of Business, as some of you would know about it, uh, was was uh, formed officially in 2001. It has completed more than 20 years in India as uh, an educational institution. Uh, I'm a very proud alum of the school. Uh, so ISB has created a niche for itself. Why? Because Firstly, it's a one-year MBA uh, instead of a traditional two-year MBA offered by IIMs. Secondly, the school does not only look at your uh, fundamentals, which is college CGPA, yeah, for uh, GMAT score or GRE score. It looks at your profile holistically when they are inviting you uh, to attend their MBA. And thirdly, uh, I personally believe ISB has unparalleled uh, class diversity. Right, so you have. You can see uh, army veterans, doctors, lawyers, CAs, techies, bankers, people from uh, a commerce background, science background, fashion design background, architecture background, all joining in and becoming a part of this cohort to complete their one year MBA. So, uh, and ISB is specifically known for uh, placements in consulting, which is management consulting, which is your McKinsey, Bain, BCG, Dahlberg, Deloitte, Accenture companies uh, from the consulting domain, broadly all good companies from the consulting domain visit ISP to recruit every year and uh, uh, product management firms like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, uh, Uber, all of these firms also visit ISB. So ISB is particularly known for consulting as well as product management placements. Uh, it has an average seat, average CTC of uh, I don't know what was the last number. I think it was broadly 34, 35 LPA, uh, which is equal to, if not more than the top three IM. So ISB definitely has created an impact in terms of learning as well as positive career outcomes uh, for, its, for its students over the last many years. Uh, so if you are somebody who wants to pivot to consulting or product management or general management roles, uh, you can definitely consider ISP. You complete your MBA sooner, you start working sooner, all of that. Uh, so that's about the school. Now talking about uh, what are the different routes to go to ISP, right? So people have this misconception that I need to have a certain amount of work X, which is four years, five years to apply to ISP. That's wrong. Just talking about myself, I applied for ISB when I was in my second year in undergrad, right? So. Uh, I applied when I was broadly 19 years old. So ISB has a flagship one year MBA, but there are different routes to go to ISB, right? So for undergraduate college students who are in their pre-final or final years, uh, there is this route called Young Leaders Program, right? So you can apply through the ISB YLP. 
you get your admit but you join once you complete 2 years of full time work ex it's a deferred mba program uh and the second route is for early professionals who have just completed their graduation but at the time of applying they have less than 2 years of work ex which is less than 24 months of work ex so for them it's early entry option they can also apply for isb once again deferred admit you block your seat but you can join the program you are eligible to join the mba class once you complete 24 months of work ex and the normal pgp route is for people who have more than 2 years of work ex when they are applying and they can join uh, whenever they get through so the typical cycle for the isb uh, mba class and curriculum is april to may right so for people who are applying this year uh, they uh, will enter the class in april 2020 Three and they'll complete their MBA in May 2024. Uh, so that's the one year MBA. And uh, even though the routes are different, but what you experience in terms of career outcomes, learning outcomes, opportunities is exactly the same, right? So people have this misconception, yar, ki mere paas to 20 months of work experience when I'm going to ISB, somebody having uh, five, six years of work experience will eat me for uh, breakfast. That's not the case. I'm not trying to brag here. I'm just sharing my experience that uh, uh, people are very, very supportive at ISB. It's not that toxic, uh, competitive state that some people might have experienced in their undergrads, but people here are very mature, very supportive. It's a community of sorts. Uh, so, and that has been my experience. Uh, I went to ISB with 20 months of work ex. Uh, as I told you, applied. I applied in college uh, through the YLP. and uh, i was technically the youngest candidate in my batch i did academically reasonably well uh, secured rank 8 out of uh, 700 students and was also the president of the entrepreneurship club but once again the people there are very very supportive right so uh, please don't think that if you have less work ex then you will be at a disadvantage that's not the case right uh, talking about uh, what are the different components that you need to submit once you are applying for isp right uh, it doesn't matter if it's ylp or if it's eo or if it's normal pgp uh, route there are some things which remain common in terms of what you need to submit to the school to be considered for an admission so the first thing which is very very important which uh, all of you already know is a gmat or a gre score right so i'll talk about my gmat experience i took gmat back in 2017 when i was applying for isp in my first attempt i scored a 680 uh, prepared uh, uh, prepared uh, horribly and uh, then i took coaching uh, for two and a half months uh, and then scored a 750 and then applied uh, the average acceptance score in terms of gmat for isb is broadly 713 so any score above this is a good score but as we discussed earlier it's a holistic evaluation right so don't consider ki mera gmat mein 750 aa gaya to i'm pretty much into isb that's not the case uh, and i'll talk more about this um and for gre i have i did not take gre but i have seen that the average acceptance score for gre at isb is broadly 327 right so try to get a score above this uh talking more about my gmat experience and what i learned from it I think GMAT is an exam which requires a lot of quality and consistent preparation. You need to prepare for at least two and a half to three months, not more than that. Uh, a lot of CAT aspirants who are also preparing for GMAT, they confuse कि यार मैंने तो CAT के लिए एक साल पढ़ाई करी है, GMAT के लिए I will need at least six months. That's not the case. Uh, so GMAT has limited number of topics, but you need to cultivate a lot of uh, expertise in each of these topics, specifically verbal ability. verbal is a difficult uh, thing to crack for almost all indian test takers uh, why i am saying this uh, is because i have been a test taker before i got a good score in my quant in my first attempt which i gave through self preparation but my verbal score pulled the whole score down to 680 uh, and we also have a gmat coaching program there also we see that people who are joining us are majorly joining us because of uh the the their difficulties that they're facing in the verbal ability section and yeah so broadly two and a half to three months of preparation you need to spare a couple of hours every day basis my experience uh you first focus on concepts you can uh, refer to manhattan guides for that and then you go to the gvat official guides uh to to uh, practice questions right so that's about gmat which is the first component which you need to submit 
the second thing that you need to submit is essays right and a lot of people underestimate the importance of essays they leave the essays till the end which is not the right approach uh, to be honest with you gmat and essays broadly have uh, a similar weightage when it comes to evaluation by the isb adcom right so and essays are typically inclined towards the essay topics are majorly centered towards uh, what are your goals in life uh, uh, tell us something about uh, tell us about something which has been a personal experience which has left uh, left a deep impact on you as a person all of that uh, and stuff like peer learning is a very important aspect at isb how will you add value to the isb classroom basis your own, your own experiences etc so uh, i'll reserve gyan on each of these essay topics for another video uh one thing which i have experienced uh, for isb essays is that people uh over index on a lot of things like me ko starting me quote likhna zaruri hai mere ko fancy english likhna zaruri hai all of that is bull crap to be honest uh, i have seen over the years since i have been mentoring people for isb ever since i got my admit uh which is broadly four and a half years i have seen that quote likhna ya fir shakespearean english likhne se kuch farak nahi padta hai you need to be uh, very authentic very honest about what you have done you need to structure your essays into broadly three to four paragraphs and uh, you need to uh, you need to be honest with yourself right so in the essay writing process i have seen a lot of people who exaggerate beyond the limit who mention stuff which which they are not able to justify in the interviews right so that should not be the case uh so that's about the essays uh, unfortunately when i was writing my essays back in 2017 i did not have anybody to proofread the essays nowadays you lot have a lot of access right and we also provide those services which is we help you with essay writing from scratch we help you with gmat coaching as i mentioned we help you with interview preparation all of that not only for isb but also for schools like ncad hps what on all of that how do we do it very simple we get you connected with a mentor who is an alum of the school and then you have unlimited one to one live zoom sessions with them uh, where you can write your essays with them prepare for interviews all of that is taken care of right so uh, that's about the essays the third component is uh, a letter of recommendation right so a letter of recommendation simply means ki aapke liye koi professionally vouch kar raha hai right so it can be your internship manager if you are a ylp aspirant it can be your work manager if you are a eo or normal pgp aspirant it can be your college faculty as well agar aap apni company ko nahi batana chahte ki aap mba ke liye apply kar rahe ho that's also that that's also something that i've seen uh, but uh, jiske sath jiska bhi aap lor de rahe ho uh, that person should have worked closely with you and the titles do not matter right so i may be working with a startup but aisa nahi hai ki agar main ceo ka lor de dunga to that will create an impact राइट सो जिस किसी के साथ भी आपने ट्रूली सच में क्लोजली काम किया हो उनका रिकमेंडेशन मांगना चाहिए वाई बिकॉज देन देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ नुआंस देन देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एनिकडोटल एविडेंस इन देर आंसर राइट अगर कोई भी जेनरिक ज्ञान लिख के दे देगा देन दे आई एस बी टीम ऑल्सो फिगर्स आउट किया लिखने के लिए लिख दिया या फिर बच्चे ने खुद ही लिख दिया है राइट सो दैट शुड नॉट बी द केस वेन आई से समेटा एलो आर ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज गिव दी गिव दी डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस इवेल्यूएटर whoever that person is faculty manager whoever that person is give their details and email id to isb isb will send them a list of four five questions which will be based on what is let's say i am the applicant so the questions to my evaluator will be what is your working relationship with sarthak uh what is the most constructive piece of feedback that you have given to him as his manager if let's say your span of management is 10 people then uh, uh how does he rank amongst all these people right so those sort of questions which are subjective in nature uh that's the third component fourth component is a mix right so it's a mix of awards that you've won achievements that you've won any accolades uh, work experience pointers and hobbies right so isb also requires you to mention a list of up to 5 awards that you've won a list of 5 achievements and uh, a list of up to 3 hobbies right so people get confused between awards and achievements awards ka matlab simply hota hai any certificate or tangible medal or something which signals an individual achievement 
but uh, for achievements you can mention stuff like i was a part of the economics club i was in debating i was having my own venture but for me i mentioned in my awards that i was a gold medalist in my college i was a gold medalist in my school because those are individual and tangible uh, things that i won in life right uh, and try to signal thoda sa variety in your experiences aisa nahi hona chahiye ki agar main marathoner hu to main awards mein पांच में से तीन बकेट्स में मैराथन अवार्ड्स की अवार्ड्स के बारे में बात कर रहा हूँ राइट सो पीपल गेट बोर्ड बी ऑन द पॉइंट सो इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू शो केस कि आपने लाइफ में बहुत सारी चीजें करी हुई हैं जितनी पॉसिबल हो सकती हैं सो एंड हॉबी शुड बी और करंट हॉबीज ऐसा नहीं है कि मैं क्लास सेवेंथ में अगर तबला बजाता था तो मैं अभी उसको एज माई हॉबी लिख सकता हूँ इट शुड बी करंट हॉबीज विच इज थिंग्स दैट यू लाइक डूइंग इन योर फ्री टाइम over the last let's say 2 3 years it can be anything right dancing reading swimming gardening all of that but hobbies become talking points in the interviews right so uh, be very careful that you're not lying or exaggerating right i have personally seen people getting rejected because they lied in their hobbies and when they were grilled in the interviews then they could not answer right so we talked about gmat or gre score we talked about essays we talked about uh award achievements hobbies the fourth thing obviously is work experience which is applicable for uh, early professionals or working professionals with more than 2 years of experience so working work experience mein basically you need to mention what was your role and responsibility isb gives you space to write that and also what were your achievements or initiatives right so that is another component uh after that uh once you submit the application when you once you submit your lor your gmat score or gre score or your essays and all these things then the school uh, shortlist is uh, people and then they invite a certain set of the applicants for interviews right so but before i go on to the interviews just to give you some timelines of when to apply for isb for working professionals which is eos which is people with less than 2 years of work ex but graduates and people with more than 2 years of work ex timelines are identical you can apply for isb in one of the rounds uh jitna jaldi apply karoge utna acha hota hai the round 1 deadline is typically in september mid the round 2 deadline is typically in uh, november end this time this it was on december 4th the round 3 deadline is on uh is is uh, towards the end of january right so uh when i say deadline you have to submit all these things the school will evaluate you then they will call you for an interview if you are shortlisted right uh, for yilps it's typic this year it was uh, it was uh, it divided into two timelines uh, ek timeline abhi aane wala hai which is in march next year and ek timeline ja chuka hai which was september broadly uh, so if you want to apply for isp if you are an isp applicant uh, september next year is the best time for you to apply that being said you can apply in round 3 also of this year which is towards the end of january right and the isb uh, class starts from april to may so if you are a round 3 applicant you can apply in jan if you are through you will join in the april 2023 class and that will run till may that's the broad timeline right uh, round 1 and round 1 and round 2 ka likelihood of getting through is broadly uh, similar i have seen a lot of good people getting rejected in round 3 but getting accepted in the round one of next year but it's your call right it's it depends on your context how desperate are you to do an mba asap all of that uh so that's your call and uh, talking about the last component uh maine bahut zyada bore kar diya so really sorry for that <laughs> talking about the last component uh it's interviews right so once you're shortlisted uh isb calls you for a personal interview it's typically taken by a couple of alums and who are sitting in the panel i gave my interviews in a pre pre covid era so tab bhi in person interviews the ab bhi in person interviews ho gaye hain wapas se shuru but people can still opt in for an online interview if they want to and it's a 30 40 minute long conversation the conversation revolves around aapka kya rational hai kya motivation hai behind applying for the school they try to gauge you as a person they try to grill you on what you have mentioned in the essays what you have mentioned in the hobbies what you have mentioned in the application right so you need to be very very thorough with what you have mentioned uh, questions can be what is your biggest challenge at work what was your biggest achievement why isb why mba uh 
what clubs would you want to join what value will you add what if you don't get through isb this year they might grill you on your industry right let's say you come from an investment banking background they might throw a couple of uh, financial analysis or uh, ratio analysis or cash flow based questions you never know right so you need to be prepared for everything but i have seen that isb interviews historically have not been uh, interviews which where the uh, panel is trying to grill you uh, it's typically a conversation so that's that's about my experience uh, and what i've seen uh, from other people who have been mentored by us and given these interviews so that's the typical isb admissions process those are the components and uh, uh, we provide all these services which is we provide gmat coaching b school applications we provide placement preparation for consulting etc feel free to check out the comment uh, the link uh, is there to our website and please do let me know if you like this video i look forward to shooting a lot of videos on youtube on not only isb admissions but also on cv making on how to crack interviews on my startup journey on uh, gmat etc all of that i'll be covering but uh, i hope you gained something out of this video and i hope to see you again very soon right thank you